What's up guys, welcome to the Science of Golf Performance at Par for Success. I'm Alex, Director of Performance here. Before we get into the video, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, this is helpful for you. It's going to help lots of other people interested in this topic. So today we're going to get right into it, talking about in-season and off-season training for golf. Now, depending where you are in the world, you could have a longer off-season, a longer in-season. Depending where you are, you could have in-season year-round. But there are ways in which you can train to maximize your performance on the course, whether it is in-season or off-season. And when I talk about training, I'm specifically talking about in the gym. So today we're going to break it down, what you can do in the gym, during your in-season, during your off-season, to maximize your performance on the course. All right. So think of in-season, you're playing golf more, you're being competitive with it, you're more focused about being on the course rather than in the gym. So a lot of our time uh, is going to be spent on the course rather than in the gym. And that's what the first part of in-season training is going to be about, and off-season, is going to be the frequency. So three things we're going to touch on are frequency, we're also going to touch on repetitions, and the last thing we're going to touch on is intensity. All right, so we've got in season, off season. These are the three points we're going to touch on. And if you know how to manipulate these the best, it's going to really maximize what you're doing in your golf, in your golf space, in your competitive golf season. Okay. So frequency. We talked about in season. You're going to definitely be on the course more, in the gym less. So purposely in the in season, you want to bring your gym frequency down. So I'm just going to draw a down arrow there, and in off season we're going to draw an up arrow. So purposely to maximize your gains, you will stay, you will bring your frequency down in the gym in the in season so you can be on the course more. And in the off season, you want to be in the gym a little bit more. That's where more of your energy can go towards, again, all in the efforts to maximize your performance on the course. Okay. So think most of your energy the in season going towards on the course, frequency is going to go down in terms of how many times you're in the gym. It's going to go up in the off season. Okay. So the second thing looking here, repetitions. So when I touch on, when I say repetitions, I mean how many reps of exercises you're doing in the gym. So if I'm doing a set of squats, how many reps of squats am I going to do? Now in the in-season, we don't want to focus on high reps. We want to keep them pretty low. So I'm just going to put low right here. Okay. Think of the more reps you do of an exercise, the more damage and fatigue it's going to cause. So we definitely want to save a lot of that energy, not be thinking being super sore, fatigued, or going to play golf. Um, so we're going to make sure we keep those reps within the you know one to three range, honestly. So I'll put one to three underneath here. Yeah. Um, now in the off season, it's a time for growth. It's a time to work on weaknesses, bring up our conditioning a little bit. Um, so we can focus on a little more higher repetitions in some cases. So again, with that same set of squats, now maybe I'm focusing on more of an 8 to 10 or a 6 to 10 rep range. Okay? If you're focused on growth and maybe putting on some muscle mass in the off season, uh, getting up your conditioning, like I said, you will drive them up. So uh, off season, higher reps, we'll go 6 to 10. Okay. Now going along with the repetitions, we have the intensity. And when I talk about intensity, I'm talking about the amount of weight that we're lifting. So relatively high intensities are more in that 85 to 90% range. Relatively low intensities are going to be more of the 60 to 75% or even lower in some cases. So in season, we have low repetitions. We're not in the gym as much. However, we want to keep our intensity still high. So I'm just going to put high here, and I'm talking about 80 to 95%. Okay, so that's relative intensity. Think if your one rep max is 100 pounds in the in season, you still want to touch 80 to 95 pounds worth of weight for that relatively. So what this is going to do is help drive your nervous system staying high so that when you're swinging the golf club out on the course, you're still getting those benefits of max power output, your swing speed staying high, your distance is staying high, and you're not losing 
any of that stuff that you built in the off season. So when we talk about intensities for the off season, they're going to be a little bit on the lower side. So we'll say low. So it'll be 60, about 60 to 75 percent. Okay. So our repetitions are high. We're in the gym more so, and our intensities are lower. So with that same like 100 pound max, now I'm only using 60 to 75 because my reps are higher. And this is driving conditioning, muscle growth in some cases, and I'm putting more work in. It's gonna cause a little more soreness, a little more fatigue, which I can afford in the off season because I'm not playing golf as much, right? So kind of takeaways here, three main things that you can do to maximize your golf performance is know your in season, know your off season, first of all, and then within those seasons that you have, look at the frequency you're in the gym, the repetitions of your exercises, and the intensity of those exercises. In season, you're gonna be in the gym less. You wanna keep your reps on the lower side and your intensities on the higher side. In the off season, more time in the gym, you want your repetitions on the higher side, intensities on the lower side to help drive and build fitness, conditioning, and in muscle growth in some cases. So if this is helpful, guys, um, like I said, give a like, subscribe, share. Um, also take a look at the link below uh, to our home assessment. We do all of this through our virtual coaching, through our in-house coaching. So if this is kind of confusing to you and how you would build it yourself, we do all the dirty work for you and deliver it to your phone um, at home or in the facility. So give it a try and hope you enjoyed this episode.